we're going to work on the hook, and the hook is a really a good knockout punch. I scored some knockouts with the hook, and you'll see that happen quite a bit with that left hook. Okay, and you can throw the left hook to the body, which uh, there are body shots thrown, and the person is, is stopped. It's a weak area back here in this liver shot. So what we'll do first is we'll step in and go to the body. Step with the left leg here from the outside, you're going to drop. And a good way to do that is I'm teaching you the hook, but I probably need to throw the right hand instead of just stepping in. You throw the right hand, and as you throw the right hand, you're dropping that, and you know what you're going to do. So you don't want to throw the punch and stop here and then drop down. You want to step in and throw the punch, and as you go in, you're dropping the body, and then you're pulling that right hand back, and as you pull it back, you're going up with that hook here, striking with the two knuckles, the index finger, and the middle finger is the knuckle that you're going to strike with whenever you're punching. So you, you step in, you throw the right, and then from here you're going to come up, boom, and the left. And you're pushing and shifting that weight. As I talked earlier, is the shifting the weight with the left leg. If I just punch with my arm and turn my body, yeah, I can hit it pretty good. But if I come up and push and lean back, not only is that going to give me more power, but what am I set for? You got that right, the right hand here. Okay, so we step in, and from here we're gonna throw the body shot. One, come back with the right. Pow, we're already set up. We're right back. We've got that head moving here and here, and then from there you can follow it up with a hook. Sometimes you can even the double hook. You step in, you go to the body. One, you come back and you drop that weight, and you come back up the head here, and then from there you can follow that up with the right hand, of course, also. Or from here, step in. Let's go body. Let's go ahead and let's drop and turn and get out of there without getting hit. Or you can step in to smother their punches. That's what I used to do a lot of. You get in so close, they can't punch you. If they're so close, when they're when you're trying when they're trying to hit you, they're so close to them. I'm sorry, you're so close to them, they can't hit you. So uh, two two things: you want to either be so close they can't hit you. The one thing bad about that is you can't hit them, but this gives you, you know what you're doing, this gives you an opportunity to take a break. Maybe grab them, or maybe just get so close and take a couple of deep breaths, catch your breath, and then step out a little bit and start going. Or step to the side, boom, boom, and just let them have it. Or your distance from here, okay? If I want to be, let's say I do not want to fight. In other words, I want to take me a little break. I'm going to stay out a little farther here. And I'm going to be moving. I might thank him. I might stick him with the jab every once in a while just to kind of keep him on guard, not to let him know that I'm taking a break. If he knows I'm taking a break, any experienced fighter, they're going to jump on you knowing that they're not going to give us a break. So we don't want to make, we don't want to fight his fight. Whenever we're fighting, we want to make sure that we fight our fight. So I get in too close when I want to take a, a deep breath or catch my breath. And I get in from here on the outside to Catch my breath also. Okay, so let me get on the other side of the bag here, and we'll work the hook from over here so you can see it a little bit better. We're going to step in on that right hand, and you drop as you go in, and you come up with that hook here, dropping back down, and coming up with the hook here. Or you can just make it quick from here, going one, two, that second one. You can hear the difference in the noise. You're just going to be a, an attention getter down here in that liver. You step in the head, boom, and then from here, one, two, really pushing off that leg, here to give you the power with that left hook okay but the body shot it can be so so important if you really put a lot of power into it what they say is you take the body out and the head will die now what we're talking about is head hunting head hunting they can move that head they can block with those hands but you take that body out and yes the head in other words your knockout will come is what we're trying to say so you step in right hand Left hook the body, drop it back down, and you're set now to come back up with that left hook here, and then you're set right back here with the right, and then stepping here using your defense. So you're going to move this direction, you're going to move this direction with your movement, with your punches. You continually want to change. If I'm doing the same thing, I'm going the same way here. He's just going to throw that right hand, I'm going to run right into it. So we don't want to do that. We want to change our movement from side to side and we also want to change the techniques that we throw okay so now we're going to work the right hook from here or right cross stepping across this left hand bring it to the body here 
around, back behind this arm in here, or it can be right in front of the arm here. So you step in and the hook in the body here. Step in the hook here, and then we're going to move here. So we're not going to come right back. Okay, so you step, boom, in here. Step, boom, come here. Okay, this way you're set. You always, once you punch, you don't want to be out of position. If you punch and you feel yourself stumbling, and believe me, I've done it, uh, that's just a mistake on our part. We always want to keep our feet and our balance underneath us, okay? So you can throw that right hook, let's say, a couple times to the body. And now, what is he expecting? When I step in here and I'm looking at that body, what's he expecting? So this time I go, boom, to the head here, okay? So you step in and you go to the body a couple of times, let's say, one. And you come back here and you move around here and you go, two. And then you come back and you're moving and you're thinking, you know what you do. Now he's thinking, oh, that body shot didn't feel good. Then you step in that third time and you go to the head, boom, and you come right back with the hook here, boom, and you're ready for the right, boom, and then you're moving back and forth here. Okay, and now we've got one more time here. We're going to go one, two, three, and then you get too close to him. You're here right beside. So you're safe. Like a baby in a mother's arm, when you're close, you're safe. Many times you see fighters, and maybe the th uh, rookie fighters, they're, they're not uh, very, don't have much, uh, much experience. So when they're, throwing, they're just throwing hook after hook after hook after hook after hook. The straight punches work really good mixed in with the hooks. The hooks make the straight punches work. The straight punches make the hooks work. So you want to always mix that up. Again, I'm going to repeat it, change. Don't do the same thing. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck and get caught. So always change up and work on that when you're working the bag and when you're sparring. Sometimes I've heard people say, well, I'll do that in the fight. I'll do that in the fight. Well, the way you train is the way you're going to fight. So we want to make good, good habits and practice and train hard so that we can fight hard and fight right.